I wasn't really planning on coming like every day of school, but it just happened. Like I just never really missed. First, I wake up and I decide which t tacos I want to eat, <laughs> and then I just ever and then from there on, I just focus my mind on school. My experience here was is, has been pretty good, and I'm kind of getting to a point where you know, like I feel it, it's already almost over, and I'm just realizing that it went by so fast from being a freshman, a scared freshman, to being a senior that you know kind of rules the school, you know. But I mean, I'm I'm very proud to be a Bobcat, and I hope people that come to this to this school achieve many accomplishments and goals to get them further in life. I was actually born right here across the street at the birthplace. I was born and grew up here in San Antonio. I've been to South San all my life. Well, since freshman year, I've been in the Academy of Health and Sciences. And this senior year, I was a part of the practicum of pharmacy technicians. So this year, I put a lot of focus into that. I was interning at a pharmacy, Hills Drugstore and Pharmacy. And my key to success was always knowing that I needed to do better. I always knew that I needed to push forward, reminding myself, like, you need to do this because it's going to pay off. You need to do this because in the end, like, it's going to be worth it. Like, don't worry now, like, it's going to pay off in the end. This past April, I was admitted into, into the Early Assurance Pharmacy program at the University of the Incarnate Word. And what that says is that rather than earn my bachelor's in four years and then apply and get admitted into phar pharmacy school at UIW, after only two years of undergraduate study, I'm able to apply for pharma school. So I'll be able to get my doctorate in pharmacy in six years rather than eight. And that's all because I ended up with um, the 4.0 GPA I have now, my SAT scores, because of the hard work I put in high school, in the end I'll be able to finish college earlier. I serve uh, as a senior class president with uh, the National Honor Society, student council, I'm in Upward Bound, um, I'm the French horn section leader in the Mighty Bobcat Band, and I'm a member of the National Hispanic Institute. I think a big uh, key to my academic success was I've always been raised to believe that I'm a reflection of my parents and of my family and I always wanted to reflect how my parents always sacrificed everything for me to have the opportunities that I have. So I've been accepted to the University of Southern California and to Stanford University and um, I believe that I'll be at Stanford University in the fall so I think that that's going to open a lot of doors for me. and. Um, several opportunities. I'm very blessed and thankful to have been accepted to these universities and I can't thank all the people that have helped me get there, my parents, my family, my teachers here at South San. So I'm very excited about what the future holds for me. Don't be afraid to dream of going to big universities like Stanford or USC or any other university, don't be scared to go out of state and um, don't let people tell you that you're not able to achieve these things because you're from South San or because you're Hispanic or because anything, because you most definitely can. <laughs>